if it was something like, uh, I'm going to cast. I'm going to pod my cast to pod my cast. I'm going to pod my cast to pod my cast. What, um, what was that? Uh, I guess that was a uh, Monster Mash. Right. To the, yeah, it was like to the tune of Monster Mash. But saying. I'm going to pod my cast. Right. <laughs> Any thoughts? It's unbearable. Right. But I think if you were to just try doing it, I'm going to cast. I'm going to pop my cast. You want me to join yeah, in? No. You want me to join in with Not this? really. You want me to provide backing vocals? No. I just I, <laughs> I just thought it'd be fun. Maybe we'll save it for like the Halloween episode. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we release a fully fleshed out instrumentation, just the yeah. entire version of the I think that after this people are going to be clamoring and waiting for Halloween because they're going to hear the (laughs) pod my cast (laughs) and that'll be the big release that you do on Halloween instead instead of a wishing album it won't be wishing it'll it'll be be, it'll be this (laughs) my the pod my cast (laughs) my podcast version of monster Monster mash Mash called pod my cast (laughs) of course (laughs) I like how in your accent it kind of because you say podcast, yeah, which podcast. rhymes with mash, monster mash. I, I say podcast, pod my cast, which would only rhyme with monster marsh. Yeah, doesn't work. Doesn't rhyme. No. Uh, hey, welcome to Space in Between. My name is Mitch. My name is Billy, and we are late. <laughs> Don't bring it up. We're not late. Actually, this is a Monday uploading podcast, and we're uploading it on a Monday. D- granted, usually we do it at about one a.m. on a Monday. Yes. This is. More like uh, 5 p.m. Oh, and we're just now recording. Whoops. Okay. Yeah. I had an important thing going on yesterday. Yeah. It was Easter. Oh. I was at church. <laughs> Trump told me that I could go to church. I could go to church because if we prayed hard enough, everything will be fine. So I got kind of excited, attended, God, was it six services? <laughs> Yeah. All of the ones I could find. And then I got kind of inspired at the last one and I kind of tried to um, revive that free hugs meme. Oh. To try and in like a weird, cheap and desperate attempt to go viral. I kind of, I guess I had a moment of, I don't know, some would call it delirium. Some would call it enlightenment uh-huh. where I was uh, laying hands on people <laughs> to, <laughs> heal, to them. heal them. Just yeah. kind of touching everyone. They would say, oh, there's nothing wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with me. And you'd say, shh. You'll not know until it's gone. Touch my hand. And I grabbed... Touch my unwashed hand. I grabbed their face and I went, pod my cast. <laughs> <laughs> Just an insane person. <laughs> Just absolutely mentalist. <laughs> We've got an interesting show because we we're answering three questions that none of them are serious. Yeah. And they're actually quite fun. But before we get into that... Mm-hmm. um. Yesterday, what I really had going on is I had an album release. Woo! The Wishing album is officially done. Ooh, I'm going to put the, uh, yeah, I'm going to put like people clapping right here. And I'm going to keep it going. Wait. And they're still clapping. Oh, my God. And they're going to love. Oh, this, this oh it's, not, it's almost embarrassing how much they're clapping. Uh-oh. No, no, don't say that. Oh, fuck, they're booing. No, 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 oh. no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> they oh, tr- they've turned on me. <laughs> I can't believe it. Um... The Wishing album is done. Christian and I have been working on it for a long time. It's supposed to come out on Halloween, mm-hmm. Bob McCast. And the, we didn't end up doing that. And then it got delayed and things came up and it was an awful, a tragic era of my life. But the, the, the album, through uh, tons of um, trials and turbulence, mm-hmm. it, it, is, it is not only done, but it is out. It is done. It is out. It is beautiful, more beautiful than it is ever before than you could possibly imagine yeah anyway it's called um none of this was your fault it Mm -hmm. is the new wishing album if you've not yet listened to a wishing album uh why not start here (laughs) why not start with my my very own proudest full-length album that i've done it is full length. It's, it's it's sixteen tracks long. It's sixteen tracks. Yeah, and uh, it's uh, Christian and I. Yeah, we we just plain worked very very hard on it, mm-hmm. and uh, it really is a labor of love, especially for a wishing album. It's not like we don't work very hard on wishing. We do, mm-hmm. but it's usually in such a an incredibly small amount of time. Yeah. So putting this much time into a wishing release really changed the sound of it, the production of it, it and the uh, you know the thoughtfulness of the lyrics and the overarching kind of a theme of the album. So 
Uh, I'm really proud of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, wishing none of this was your fault. You can look it up on Spotify. Um, I, I do people use iTunes? No, uh, Apple Music. Mm-hmm. Got them over here. We're like, really showing you right here. Yeah, we'll search, iTunes. Search it on Put, put it on your space. Zoom, everyone. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm giving away a free uh, iPod shuffle <laughs> if you uh, look it up. It's good. I love it. If you've not heard it yet, I encourage you to do so. It is the uh, the the hardest I've worked on something in a very, very long time. Mm-hmm. And being a musician, uh, you know, seeing uh, like a album release a day, especially like as an independent musician, you're doing this all yourself, you know, it's all, mm-hmm. it's all completely independent. There's no publicist there's no websites writing about it there's no anything mm-hmm. like that but the fans talking about it that's that's my feedback that's mm-hmm. that's what i get out of the album and that is the very personal connection that i have with those people so yes. album release days are always really really big that's why we didn't record i yeah. was on very little sleep and mm-hmm. then it hit the time to record and I was like, I'm just, uh, I've got nothing left we i couldn't talk right now if i wanted yeah so um but it is up now everywhere on Spotify, on Apple Music. It is on YouTube, on the on the Flat Sound channel. Mm-hmm. Um, it's on Bandcamp. It's pretty much everywhere you could want it. Yeah. So um, mm-hmm. stop asking if it's on Spotify. Because it is. <laughs> it is on Spotify. It's also on Apple yeah. Music. So you can stop asking that too. Yeah. What do you think is with these people that are asking me this constantly? <laughs> I don't know. I'm you, getting. I'm you getting. Make, s- you make a post saying, "Hey everyone, it's on Spotify." And, then the and I'll just get 16 people responding saying, is it on Spotify? <laughs> when will it be on Spotify? I'm like, what? It, now. <laughs> it's on now. You can go look. And then many more people will be like, is it on Apple Music? Yes, I just said. Why wouldn't you look before asking? Why wouldn't you check Why Apple you Music? Check? <laughs> if you like the platform so much, certainly it's on your phone. <laughs> certainly just it's a swipe it away. With, with less characters than you could... Um, than it would take to ask me this. Yes. You, and then wait for a response, which you will not get. <laughs> uh, the, the, you could have just searched it. I think that they know the answer and they just want to reply. Mm, maybe but that's you shan't it. be pandering to that. Yeah, we were talking about that this morning when um, something like that is very, very small. I feel mm-hmm. I feel like a just an enormous little pig for <laughs> uh, complaining about it. Mm. But it's one of those things where you see it so often – Mm-hmm. That you're just actually confused by it. And yes. you're just like, certainly this can't be a thing. Everyone is, no, this many people can't, n- no. <laughs> how, how do you, You're trolling me. You have to be trolling me. <laughs> Maybe they are trolling you. It, it, it's working. No, oh, it's making him, oh, he, yeah, he's, 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 his face right now. Remember the old rage comment? I was going to say, he's, yeah. he's about to rage quit. <laughs> <laughs> they caught his ass. <laughs> I rage quit He's music. He's raging right now. <laughs> they got me to rage quit my career. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe how successful it was. They trolled him really good. <laughs> so, should we get into the first question? I suppose we should. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah. One last, sorry for being late. Mm-hmm. The episode is up now. Check out the album if you haven't yet. We're late for a very good reason. Mm-hmm. If you missed having 40 minutes of Mitchell content... On a Sunday, then you had an album to listen to, so you should yeah, listen to was, that instead. Yeah, which was which was exactly forty four minutes long. Yeah. So there you go. Perfect length. Love it. Let's get into the first question. Go for this it. This is, after all, an advice email reading podcast. Unfortunately, that is what we've become. Where we do read emails yeah. and uh, give advice, or just read emails and talk about the things that people are mm-hmm. sending us. Mm-hmm. Most of it, yeah, it's like Google ads. <laughs> Yeah, it's like it's just like a YouTube thing that said that we got a new subscriber. Most of it is um, princes from foreign lands offering us a, a, a good percentage if we would only just give our our, our PayPal information. It's nuts how common it's, that it's crazy is how many how people just re- require the 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 services of someone with a PayPal account. I would love this um, podcast to kind of devolve into. Um, Spam reading. Yeah, spam reading and us just being like, all right, here's a new email. Uh, yeah, YouTube says that we got a new subscriber. Wow, just one in the last six days, huh? That's not good. We, we don't get a lot of spam, but we do sometimes because like our, our podcast email address is in the RSS feed information. Sometimes people scrub those and we'll just get like um, blanket templates from people who are just offering like services to podcasters in general. Oh, yeah, that's So they'll send cool. us stuff like... Dear hosts, love the show. Love the content that you provide. You're doing great. Yeah. If you wanted to do better, 
give me your social <laughs> and I can make that happen, mm-hmm. which they haven't and no. I've given. <laughs> oh, it hasn't come through yet. So first email is an update mm-hmm. from the very last episode. Yeah. And it says, it's called, I should say, small update to plagiarism pickle. And it goes, dear Mr. and Mrs. Space in between, you guys don't even need to put this in the pod really, but the situation has gotten weirder. Just so you know, this girl who's stealing art is a very close friend, so it's kind of sticky. But apparently some other friends of mine found out about this weeks ago and already tried confronting her about it. You were half right about her reaction. She didn't care. But it's not because she's denying that she's stealing. She knows she's stealing. Uh, She just doesn't see it as a problem. I'm losing my shit over here. Thanks for addressing my pickle, TPN, aka this person's name. So for anyone who doesn't remember or didn't listen to last week's pod, this person had a friend who was tracing art, basically. Yes. And they were like, what do I do? I found out. But it turns out she's already been confronted. And she was just like... doesn't care. That's fine. I don't relate to that at all. (laughs) I I very much relate to this... being found out and then just doubling down. Yeah, just being like, yeah, so what are you going to do about it, this person's name? (laughs) Huh? (laughs) Fucker? (laughs) Twerp? Oh, Jesus. Uh, I couldn't, that, that honestly would be grounds for me being like, I'm taking a step back from the friendship. I think you're yeah. kind of, you're kind of a whack artist. You're kind of a weirdo. Yeah. Yeah. If, if I, I, I relate to this person who's writing in and just saying, I'm losing my shit over this. Yes. Yeah, I, this I would, would also be, a, be losing my shit. A major <laughs> like dilemma for me in the friendship is being like, how could you do this? This is so whack. Mm-hmm. This is profoundly uncool. I might even call them out. Ew. Them knowing that they're doing it and being – and then after being confronted because this person, we – they showed us a side-by-side mm-hmm. of, you know, the art that they were tracing and uh, then their piece and it was so bad. Like it was – it was it was not great. And they asked us not to put it on like the YouTube channel or anything. So unfortunately people can't see it. But just take our word for it when we say – it, it was, was really, really blatant and yeah. obviously a trace. And they were even just stealing like just the original concept of this piece mm-hmm. as well as tracing the lines of it and just mm-hmm. kind of changing the colors really. But barely. Yeah. And it was like <clears throat> way, <throat> way worse done too. Mm-hmm. It was like not very well not done. Not as intricate. It, yeah. it looked kind of like shit. <laughs> but apparently this person is getting like praise online for it. Yeah. Because the, it's like, you know, the cheap copy of a very good idea. Ooh. That online praise just too too addictive to give up. It's you you can't throw away those sweet sweet upvotes. No, those sweet <laughs> <laughs> that's that sweet karma. It's crazy. It's like art catfishing. That's what it is. What would you do if you found out that like, um, I was like stealing lesser known artists like just whole songs, Break and I up was just with you. yeah as you should. I right? I would. I'd just be like. That's fucking weird, and now I feel like I can't trust you. <laughs> well, actually, an exact parallel would be if I were stealing from bigger known artists. I guess so. Because the artist that this person is stealing from is, like, more well-known on Instagram. Right. So if there was someone that was just, like, a little bit bigger than me, mm-hmm. but we just didn't have, like, any fans that were just touching it all. You know, the mm-hmm. internet's a big place. Mm-hmm. And I just took one of their songs – and I just, okay, melody, lyrics, boom. I fucking copied it. I re-recorded the shit. I yeah. posted it as my own. Yeah. And then some friend, even you, knew about it, confronted me about it and said, hey, what the fuck is up with this? Mm-hmm. And I said, yeah, I just don't see it as that big of a deal. I'd be like, goodbye. I'm out of here. Yeah. Yeah. I think like, I'd do the same some, thing. That's some weirdo shit. <laughs> I, think I, I think I would do the same thing. Yeah. Honestly. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But I, I like this update because it feels like gossip. Yeah. And, and like, I like gossip. The the real direction I would like our podcast to go into would just be a gossip blog. Really. <laughs> you say that, uh, and I don't know if you're joking, but I would love to just talk shit and dish. I know you would. I do it a lot in my personal life. <laughs> there was some like there was some like gossip with the neighbors next door and I like stood <gasps> from our yeah. stood from our like porch mm-hmm. and spoke about it just being like give me an update yeah, please tell me all i the saw details. it about it i i would been meaning to text you i saw it on facebook and i've been meaning to ask what mm-hmm. happened mm-hmm. i saw some drama it sounds juicy yeah 
uh, yeah, I live for that. I always have. Yeah, and then you, you, the rest of the day, you looked like replenished. Yeah. Yeah. I had a glow had a about me. a spring in me. your step. Yeah. Because little... <laughs> you'd found out some juicy drama. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Yeah. It was fun because it didn't involve me. <laughs> and it involves people like close to me and I get to gasp a lot. <gasps> yeah. I love that. Yes. Okay. Oop, oop. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Jesus. Hold on one second. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Jeez. It's fine. It broke his ankle. I didn't, all. No, I'm plugging it back in now. His ankle. How's that? Oh, my ankle. <laughs> <laughs> That's my response. It's, it's fine. I'm plugging it back in. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a small dislocation. I'll just I just crack. I love drama. Oh, 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 wait. Hold on. My my foot is just hanging off my leg. <laughs> <laughs> Immediate karma. <laughs> I'm talking not my even, people's facts. I'm not even that <laughs> upset about it either. No, I dropped our our, our uh, headphone amp. Okay? Yes, that's it. That's, that was it. My my ankles are fine. Don't I'm gonna knock on some fucking wood right now. <laughs> like, stop making people think about them. Right. All right. Hey, Next question. You, yeah, but before we get into that question, because mm. we have just like a couple questions, we're only a little bit into the episode. Um, though I kind of would like this to be a short episode, so I could just upload it. But um. I've been meaning to use this podcast episode as like an excuse to come clean about something. Oh. Uh, our listeners don't know this about me exactly. And I never thought it was something that was worth hiding until a friend actually pointed out how fucking gross and dumb it was. But um, <laughs> like I hmm. kill people. Or something. <laughs> but, uh, it's gross and dumb. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's like cheating or something. All right. What, what is it? I. Okay. I'm going to say it out loud. Okay. I love dessert candles. <laughs> I can't get enough of dessert candles. People know me as this person who likes candles. Mm-hmm. That likes candles. Okay. Mm-hmm. But I need to be particular. I yeah. love dessert candles. Yeah. The ones that smell like food. Sweet, Sweet food. Sweet, sugary food. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I also like a candle that, you know, smells like, you know, cinnamon and you know, the holidays and, you know, things like that. But I also have a very – most of the candles that I buy mm-hmm. other than that – robust little um, manly tobacco yes. cigar candle or the fuck i had uh-huh. um i only got that because i was recently called out because i purchased so many dessert food candles yes so i tried that it was good but he's right back i went his right bullshit, back everyone. and right here on the table next mm-hmm. to us is a banana nut bread candle burning it smells so fucking good you agree that it smells good it's well listen the reason I think it smells good is because to me it smells exactly like banana Nesquik when it you open up the packet. It does kind of smell a little bit like artificial banana. I huh? love that though. But it does have some nutty, bready elements but it, to it. It doesn't. <laughs> yeah, it does. But you've had like blueberry muffin ones before, yeah. and you, you just really like sweet, sweet ones. Yeah, yeah. Lots of people find them nauseating. But I really like that you've got this kind of aesthetic going on where you know, you know, you 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 dress in a certain way, and all your Instagrams very muted aesthetics yeah. you're an artist and you you it's know you, you you write these beautiful things and these minimal, poems and clean, stuff um, poet yeah and i think the candle people assume would go along with that yeah that i'm be just a burning nice, like a juniper fig candle or something yeah, yeah. a nice santal perhaps my right. favorite but no this boy just loves a fucking grandma's banana bread <laughs> i want a banana nut bread candle please <laughs> there's no hint of nut in this it's just a banana no there's a little great. bit you just don't have a refined palate such as i oh okay no it, it pretty much smells like a laffy taffy <laughs> it does <laughs> um but i it just smells fucking good i yeah. want a candle that like i look at that and i'm like <laughs> i want to drink it yeah i want to drink the wax on top he's dangerously close i, I keep oh, seeing him fuck. eyeing it up <laughs> he's grabbing it <laughs> No, 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 no. Gulp. It's confusing because it's in a mason jar and it looks exactly like a jar of milk. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to hold it really quick. Okay. And I'm going to smell it up close. Holy shit. No, you can't smell the nut bread in this. Smell it. Okay. This is good podcast content. Yeah, something that's Smell based. <laughs> it goes beyond vision. <laughs> like oh this is visual so i put it in the youtube no. this is smell based <laughs> content everyone they can't okay, possibly well, let me smell come on that smells like banana nut bread all right all right there's a little bit not yeah but overwhelming amounts of nesquik oh well, yeah with the top notes of nesquik let me smell it one more time before you mm-hmm. put it down okay 
Oh, that's good. Oh. Anyway, uh, a lot of people are hearing this and rolling their eyes because a lot of candle connoisseurs out there yeah. will agree that, holy shit, what a bad fucking <laughs> uh, and toxic quality to have <laughs> is to light candles as much as I do, but then purchase like blueberry muffin, yeah, banana nut bread. Things that are just considered very like- Yeah, birthday cake, cupcake. Basic fucking- They're very yeah. basic. Yeah. And I- I don't know. It's just something that I really, really like. It's not to say that I don't like your fig candle up there. Mm -hmm. I love them. Mm -hmm. But I can't shake off my addiction to um, these candles. To be fair, you can't like eat sweet things. It's true. So I think this is how you're getting your kicks. No, I've always liked it though. (laughs) I've always liked just like a cinnamon bun candle or something. Then I guess you're just gay. I think I'm just just gay (laughs) enough in that particular brand- to just like this. Yes. Because I really, really can't shake it. Yes. Anyway, that's my confession. I just want everyone to know that about me. I just want to get out in the open. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Do you feel better? No. Oh. I'm kind of regretting saying it. Well, maybe we'll get like an influx of people who are like, hey, that's okay and uh, valid and I support your lifestyle choices. We'll see. Maybe we'll get an influx of fucking hate mail, though. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll so, also see. Yeah? We'll see what the Discord says. We'll when see. This we'll see how bad our iTunes rating goes down. I guess it everyone like one star, one star. This guy plummets. fucking sucks. Yeah, it's tasting cows is disgusting. Like a grandma. <laughs> I think grandmas even have nice. You know, they like floral candles. Like what? What type of shit is it? Banana nut bread. It's grandma's banana nut bread. Yeah, but it's not for grandmas. But I it's guess she for made me. the she made the bread. It's for grandsons. <laughs> yeah. Right. It is. I'm not even joking. It's a funny thing to say. Yeah. The grandson's candle. <laughs> yes. Anyway. All right. Next question. Okay. This one is related to food. Ooh. And it's called Oatmeal Dilemma. Mm. And it goes, Dear Oatmeal Gods, I have just discovered several packets of peaches and cream oatmeal that I removed from the box a long time ago, so there isn't an expiration date on any of the individual packets. I have no idea when I bought this oatmeal, but my memory and sense of time are both garbage, so it could be anywhere between five months and three years. Oh my god. My question, should I just eat it anyway? What's the worst that could happen? I mean, I probably can't get sick, right? I'm sure that the quote cream in the name isn't actually dairy in the sense it can really make you sick. But you all got me so excited about oatmeal last episode, and this is all I could scrounge up in my house. I figured since you're the oatmeal gods, you could give me some advice here. I just want it. I haven't stopped thinking about it for days. Thank you for any words of wisdom you may share. Oat loser. Okay. P.S. Oh. Do you really think eating oatmeal with oat milk is too much? That's all I have. R.I.P. me. That was a double whammy question. Mm Mm-hmm. A little overwhelmed. (laughs) You start talking about emotional labor <laughs> what on you, the show. What you have to understand is that Mitch has a lot of opinions on <laughs> both of these yeah. things. A surprising a amount of over- hard and fast opinions. It's a little overwhelming for me. <laughs> so I'm going to adjust. Um, first of all, we shouldn't be giving any advice on whether or not you should eat this thing because it could get you sick. Uh, so take our advice with a all right, l- littlest all right. grain of salt. We, we won't say should they just eat it. Would, Would you we? eat it? Okay. Under what circumstance? Because you know me as a person that won't eat anything if it's been looked at yes. by someone who I don't trust or something, you know? <laughs> yes. Someone who I know to be deceiving <laughs> or something might have happened to the packaging mm-hmm. at the factory. I'm mm-hmm. very, very neurotic about yeah. uh, food and I have been for a long time and especially mm-hmm. during these trying times, mm-hmm. um, especially so. Yeah. But also during these trying times, we're not wasting any food right now. Exactly. We're like trying to eat everything. Yeah. Um, so, so you've become a little bit more lenient in some I've cases. I've become more lax about the facts mm-hmm. that you can eat those snacks. <laughs> <laughs> and Wait, hang on. Lay a beat down. Fuck. <laughs> all right. He's back. Uh, no, I, uh, I think that I would smell it. Okay. That's what I would do. That's usually what right. you do to food. You got to yeah. trust your nose. You got to trust your senses. Does you look it, at it. You smell it. Does it seem like it's actually bad? These things will probably last a long time because mm-hmm. they're like little things of oatmeal. Mm-hmm. But I disagree that there's no dairy in it. If it's a peaches mm-hmm. and cream thing or something, there's probably some type of like dried dairy in it. Mm. Yeah, because I thought the same thing. And my answer was, all right, I, I would eat it. Mm-hmm. If I wasn't vegan, then I would eat it. I don't think that the dairy will have gone bad in it, but I do think there's dairy in it. Yes. If it smells okay, 
is probably fine. If it smells it okay, smell it's probably smell. fine. Plus, there are people on YouTube mm-hmm. who their whole channel are just like eating ration packs from 1963. Yeah. So. Yep. And they'll particularly, like, they know the food is bad and gone yep. off. Yeah. And they're just like, oh, yeah, this is making the side of my mouth go numb. Yeah. So you can tell that That's it. That's how you can tell that it's bad. <laughs> like, and, oh, oh my. If I ate something even remotely <laughs> questionable and the side of my mouth started going numb, that is panic attack <laughs> guaranteed. That is me. I have to lay on my back and play some yeah. Super Meat Boy or but something. But they're just chewing tobacco from the 20s. And Oof. it's just like, this is fine. It's bad. Yeah. Only a little bit of mold got into the package. Right. It's fine. So would would you... Right, I'm about to do the fucking thing again. <laughs> I almost knocked over the... There we go. Um, would you eat it? I'd eat it. If I wasn't vegan, then I would eat it. But I do think there's cream in these things because recently we had... We didn't buy it, but uh, we had in the house some... I think it was strawberries and cream. It packets was, of oatmeal. I want to correct you really quick, and it was a variety pack. It was a variety pack. It was, I was blueberries. Looking... Okay. <laughs> strawberries. All Hold right. on. Sorry. I just okay. really like food. All right. Uh, peaches. Yeah. And I believe that was it. I think I was looking at the strawberries and cream one. Mm-hmm. And I was like, whoa, I might actually eat this. And I looked at the ingredients and there was milk in it. Yes. So there is dairy in them. There's for sure dairy in them. Yeah. Um, would I eat it under the circumstances that I didn't have anything else? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would eat it. But- if, you, if you can't go to the shop and you can't order any online and you really want some oatmeal, do it. You gotta go for it. Yeah. Um, but keep in mind for future uh, stuff, rolled oats are very cheap. Yes. So you just got to buy rolled oats in the future. Just plain ones. Just plain they don't, rolled they oats. They don't need to be in the packet. Uh, yeah, and then just you from can the bulk. Add, add your own flavor uh-huh. to it. God, our oatmeal this morning was so good. Oh, it was. Yeah. It was so good. You were saying it's maybe your new favorite, actually. As I was eating it, I was mm-hmm. in disbelief of how good it was. Yeah. May I describe it for the lads? Please do. Okay. <clears throat> I vomited. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Pull me up with your own <laughs> Oh, it made me sick. Um, it was a. Let's see. We just put some cinnamon sugar in the mm-hmm. main in the main um mix of the oatmeal. Yeah. And we had it with a crunchy almond butter, mm. desiccated coconut, mm-hmm. and I had mine with chopped up dates. Yeah. In it, so dates, coconut, almond butter, cinnamon, mm-hmm. with homemade cashew milk. Sweetened cashew milk. Sweetened cashew milk. Yes. We've been making a simple syrup for our homemade cashew milk. Yeah. And it's been, as the teens say, thebomb.com. <laughs> <laughs> That's... As the teens said 20 years ago. Huh? What? No, they I heard. They don't say that anymore? No, I heard them say it. No. Oh. I heard them say that. All right. Someone said it to me. <laughs> a teen when I was nine <laughs> said that to me. <laughs> I have to assume the lingo hasn't changed. No. I went through my teen years, but teens stayed the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah, that was very, very good. So that if you amazing. want oat milk, oh, I'm sorry, oatmeal mm-hmm. like that, mm-hmm. you got to make your own. Yeah. You're not going to b- find that in a package. I had blueberries on mine the other day. That was amazing. Blueberries and almond butter go together like you wouldn't believe. Really yeah, fucking Yeah, it's good. really good. Mm-hmm. So uh, the next bit of advice, mm-hmm. oat milk and oatmeal, my opinion, blech, too much oat. Right. I don't like it. Yeah. In a pinch, of course. Mm-hmm. In a pinch, mm-hmm. I would, but unless I didn't, if I didn't have to, I wouldn't. So I never do. Yeah. Here's my opinion on it. Mm-hmm. If you're going to have oatmeal with oat milk, save yourself the oat milk and just eat it without milk because it's just oats and water and you're just adding oats and water to it. So just eat the oats and water that you have in the bowl. I disagree. That's why I think. But that's how I've eaten uh, porridge for most of my life. All right. You don't add milk to it. No, you I'm just add more boy. water to it. You just have it like almost like a soupy kind of thing. Right. And just kind of cook it down into just being like a looser porridge. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's some, that's some, that's gruel to me. What you're eating is gruel. It's comforting gruel though. It's not that good. It's please sir, may I have some more gruel? Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's not good mm-hmm. and it's not as good. Like I would say that oatmeal cooked down a little more with oat milk is better than it just being no milk at all. Hmm. That's my opinion. All right. But it is a little oat heavy. We'll, we'll fight about it later. Okay. All right. We're fighting about it now. Physically, I but mean. We'll, con- we'll, we'll arm wrestle about it. <laughs> no. And then the winner gets to make breakfast. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, but that's that on that. As the teens say. The one say. says that. Uh-huh. 
That's how they say that. This is your new thing that you like to say is that's that on that. I have been saying that a lot incorrectly lately <laughs> because I find it funny. <laughs> yeah. There's places where it doesn't apply, where that isn't that on that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like to like invent something in my head where I think that like that's that on that is just used interchangeably while saying, well, that's that, you know? <laughs> So well, that, that's that on that. Yeah, that's really funny to me. <laughs> yeah. I well, there know. it is. Yeah. Well, that's that on that. You know. <laughs> well, that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> exactly. It's like your your news anchor sign off. <laughs> right. Uh, that's so funny to me. I don't know why. <laughs> Just to like use that lingo like incorrectly. Slightly wrong. Right. Only slightly wrong. <laughs> anyway. What's the time? Mm. Oh, yeah. Last question time. We can squeeze in another little question. Let's squeeze in another little question. All Let's right. And this thing. one. Wait, do you, would you like to huh? jack in before this question? Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. shit. We haven't been jacked in this Because if you time? notice, this past 30, almost 31 minutes, 31 minutes, um, we've been doing terribly. Oh. Yeah, it's been like an almost unlistenable episode. Okay. Uh, so people skipped around to this point where they well, felt that, the that energy change. that explains why, at least. Right. Yeah. Uh, it's because we're not jacked in. Okay. So if you would like to, if anybody... Everybody mm-hmm. listening would like to join me in jacking in. We're sitting up straight. We're mm-hmm. getting into the podcast energy and we're... Ah! Uh, okay. I'm in the cybernet. Whoa. <laughs> He's zooming. I've activated <laughs> the motherboard. <laughs> okay. All right. And now I'm ready. The, the, the matrix layers dripping all over mm-hmm. us right now. And now I'm ready to fully answer this question. Okay. With all of my being. This one is called Spooky Pickle. And it goes... Hi, Billy and Snitch. I just wanted to introduce myself before I get into my predicament. My name is Blanc. I'm 23 years old. I'm a political science major and about to graduate this semester. I love art as well and trying to include art even in political arenas. I'm in an arts fellowship this year and it's been very rewarding. I just wanted you to have a little background of who I am in this moment. So, my pickle, she's a little spooky. I recently moved out of a house that I lived in for about 10 years. In that house, I had a ghost friend. I think she was an older woman, probably 50 to 60 years old, and she would always comfort me and be there for me. I would always feel this interesting, warm feeling around me. I know that people say there's cold spots when there's a ghost, but not mine, she's not like other ghosts. The problem is, I no longer feel her around me and I really miss her. My aunt actually moved into that house and I've been there a few times and I still don't feel her. Maybe I'm not sad anymore, or maybe she moved on, I don't know. How should I contact my ghost friend? Or should I? P.S. Mitch, I've listened to your music for about eight years, so I guess this ghost friend has too, and you really formed my teenage years. Your form of writing has really influenced the way I write. Your incredible skill of creating a means of supporting yourself and your family is truly inspiring. Also, you haven't talked too much about microphone quality lately, but damn do I appreciate it. Yeah. I tried listening to some shit podcast and I almost threw up because of the audio quality. That's what I love to hear, baby. (laughs) Thank you. Billy, I just want to say I have a huge crush on you. Oh, I really love your art, and when I stop being a broke bitch, I can't wait to subscribe to your Patreon. I love your zines and photographs. Plus, I know you gays always make fun of people for using their school email, but I think it exudes big dick energy. I have to agree a little bit on that. Yeah, like Mm -hmm. a university uh, email is kind of like... Yeah, oh, now this person's in debt. Yeah. Oh, now (laughs) they'd do anything for $20. Of course they would. No, I, I love having like a dot edu email. I know it's, it's very, cool. it's very um, sophisticated. It's only rivaled by a dot org. Yeah, <laughs> that's which is cool. what me and you personally have. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Don't tell people my email ever again. Though. <laughs> don't can't. even tell them the you extension can't. of the domain of my. I don't email. want them to know that the email that I use and is is an extension of the website that I own. <laughs> I want them to think that I have a Y mail account. Okay, and use nothing else. All right, a Proton Mail. Okay, so ghosty one Mm -hmm. in the last episode okay i racked my little worm brain trying Mm -hmm. to remember a word that i couldn't remember oh yeah Uh, jake in the discord actually was like i think you were thinking of this word uh and he was right because while i was editing that episode i i i I turned to you and i was like paranormal 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 was the i was like what is that word when things are like spooky happening but there's Mm -hmm. like a term for it it's like such a common term i can't remember it and you're Mm -hmm. like is it spooky wookie and i'm like no (laughs) dude spooky you said something that was wrong you know (laughs) it wasn't wrong it was a synonym yeah it was was something Mm -hmm. like that i'm like no it wasn't it wasn't something like that it's it's Mm -hmm. a term i I can't believe it and then i was like 
It's paranormal. It's paranormal. And then also Jake Mm -hmm. being a king such as I heard Mm -hmm. it and was like, it's paranormal. So uh, I ask you again, uh, paranormal activity in your own life, much of it? Me? Yes. I have to say no because I have to adamantly deny that anything I may have heard or seen has actually been paranormal. Otherwise, like, I can't go break into abandoned buildings to take spooky photographs anymore. Right. It would disable me from doing that because I'd be too fucking scared. So I have to be like, no, no, that wasn't a crying baby you heard in the abandoned mill when you slept there overnight. It mm-hmm. was just a pigeon. Right. You know? We, but, cause obviously it was a pigeon because it would make no sense for a crying baby ghost to be in a mill. Yeah. If there was going to be on. any ghost, it would be a mill worker. Uh-huh. Obviously. But a pigeon, he was just there for all of the flour on the floor. <laughs> He was eating like a king. Exactly. (laughs) The smartest pigeon in the world. He was crying because he had a stomach ache from being so well fed. Being so fat from from 30 year old flour. Living like a king. (laughs) Pigeon king. Yeah. So I have I have to say no for like for my own good. I've I've seen and heard a lot of spooky things, but I have to say no. I have quite a few spooky stories. I've told them on the radio show. Mm-hmm. I've told uh, I've told them in the past. And I'm not going to use these last like few minutes that we have left mm-hmm. to do that. But I do, I I do believe that there there's some spooky shit happening out there, mm-hmm. and I do have a lot of uh, personal personal stories and experiences that would um, that would align with those beliefs. Yes. Um, but this ghost. That's pretty interesting. A nice one. A nice ghost. I mean, I've never Mm -hmm. encountered like a mean spooky one or anything like that. Like I can honestly say the house that we live in right now is not haunted. There's nothing going on here. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeah, there's nothing like spooky or anything like that. The last house, Mm -hmm. uh, maybe. Mm -hmm. It was old enough. Yeah. That's for sure. It's from the 40s. Yeah. Um, But nothing too crazy, but also not nothing at all, Mm -hmm. but nothing too heavy. I think the property itself was very, eh, there was like people that had like died on that property kind of a lot. I I had Mm -hmm. heard some like weird stories. Plus there was like this weird like basement area in that, but that was, it was, it was odd. Yeah. Um, but this spooky ghost, Mm -hmm. they don't feel it anymore. No. It was around and now it's not. Yeah, and they're sad about it. Mm-hmm. They're like, why isn't she here? She moved on? She doesn't want to talk to me? What's happening? Now, there is this song. Yes. By the one and only Joseph Bruce. Mm-hmm. He wrote it uh, for the project he's in. It's called The Insane Clown Posse. Oh. Yeah, it's an ICP song. Oh, yeah. Joseph Bruce, you know, might know him by his uh, alternative name. Violent Joseph. <laughs> Violent J, Joseph Jonah himself. <laughs> Violent J, a.k.a. Violent Joseph Bruce, mm-hmm. the Joe Ness brother <laughs> himself, wrote a song mm-hmm. during the Hell's Pit era, 2004. Oh. Right? Yeah. 2004, they released their the second half of their last Joker's card in the first deck. Okay. Okay, it was called The Wraith of Hell's Pit. I promise this is going to get relevant. Now... <laughs> There is a song on Hell's Pit. Now, let me explain to you the Joker's cards. Oh, God. Okay, All well. right, no, skip over that so, bit. Get right. to the song. He had a dream in 1991. Oh, no, get to the okay, song. Okay, so all there's right. a song on um, Hell's Pit. Mm-hmm. It's called In My Room. Mm-hmm. And it uh, is essentially, it's about a similar thing. It is. Now, I haven't listened to the song in a long time, but I used to fucking love this song a lot yeah it might be pretty problematic i'm trying to think about all the lyrics in my head as i run through the song because i know it word for word yeah it's always a, always like a little bit wary about like recommending a song yeah like, oh, i might have to give that a proofreader <laughs> i i'm very weary about like recommending icp to people who like will hear it and be like well, mitch huh, this is awful and so are you and i'm just oh god it is kind of like you know early 2000s shock rock yeah. So it, it, it's, uh, b- mm-hmm. it might be, I don't know. But there's a song called In My Room, mm-hmm. and it's about a very, very similar thing where uh, he plays the role of, like, uh, a young a young man mm-hmm. who um, falls in love with this ghost that lives in his room. It's called In My Room. Yeah. And uh, they hang out all day together. They do a bunch of stuff. You know, they're, they're, they're in love. He looks forward to just going home and spending time with his ghost lover Mm -hmm. and um at one point a neighbor sees her Mm -hmm. so she has to go away Mm -hmm. so he kills the neighbors oh 
I'm just now remembering. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He does have a line in it that says, cut the screen, went in and found the kid, blew a bowl of spaghetti in the side of his head. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's graphic. That's actually still so oh fire to me, actually. It's to so be, graphic, to, but what a good rhyme. What a sick <laughs> bar that was. <laughs> Uh, what a gr- God! I love fucking horror rap so much. I God, I love it. I, I just know. I could talk. My my third podcast will be about just Necro's discography, and then the fourth podcast will be exclusively dessert candles reviews. Yeah. <laughs> Fifth podcast will be apologizing. He's a profusely. man of many talents and interests. I am multifaceted. <laughs> so if anybody out there. Listen with caution. I'm not fully recommending it, but there is a song mm-hmm. called In My Room by the Insane Clown Posse. I mm-hmm. thought it was fucking dope. Yeah. And uh, it is very much about this. Ghost was here. Now Ghost is gone. Mm-hmm. I am sad. I miss Ghost. Yeah. So you're not recommending this don't person. Don't kill anybody. All right, That's, don't. Yeah, I need yeah. to say that out loud. But legally, They're we play- need to say don't do they're, that. They're playing only the first part of this in court to me. <laughs> uh, no, get to the end. No, I. S- <laughs> the no, you have to. You have to understand that even the insane clown posse is not suggesting anything. This is horror music in the same way that horror movies exist. Yes, and it's uh, it's just that type of entertainment. Yes, anybody that does anything like this is forever a monster and should be shunned from society. Of course, and uh, terrible. But boy, howdy, what a cool subsect of uh, entertainment that is. Yeah. Horror movies, horror music. Ah, Good. I love it. Anyway, In My Room. Check it out, maybe? It's funny. You're like, I, I, I love horror music, but I'm terrified of horror movies. I don't like to be scared. He's afraid. He's easily spooked. I'm not spooked by horror rap. I'm just like, that was fire. Yeah. Dead Body Disposal by Necro? Fuck. Yeah. So good still. But me and Alex going to make you watch a horror movie this week. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that <laughs> i am yeah i don't really <laughs> i don't really like to be scared yeah <laughs> something it scares about me it <laughs> makes me like, feel afraid I, I spend so much of my regular life being, being afraid yeah having my all. having like a panic disorder yeah so my downtime i kind of like to feel happy i like to just good. play video games yeah <laughs> i like to feel good i suppose fuck me for that yeah i i'm not looking forward to it but i'll still do it mm-hmm uh, because it's a different kind of fear, you know, mm. it's not the same type of just like panic disorder thing that I get. That's panic. Yeah. Um, just like slow growing, like suspenseful, like horror. I, I just, I don't really watch that many movies to begin with. So, uh, to be into horror like that, I just not into it. You and Alex are pretty into it though. Mm-hmm. And also a lot of my friends very, very into it. So mm-hmm. I'm excited to kind of touch up on the, on dip, the, on dip the your movie genre. Toe yeah. In. To dip my, my little pinky toe in it and say, do I like this? Mm-hmm. I probably will. Good. I probably will think it's okay. We'll give you an update next week on just how much he screamed. Anyway, did this person ask for advice or are we just reading their question? They said, how should they contact their ghost friend or should they? Oh, really? Um, mm, Good old fashioned Ouija board. Can't yeah, go wrong with it. Yeah, a nice seance. I mean, you can go wrong with it, actually. Yeah, it goes wrong There's a lot, There's a lot of movies, especially <laughs> about, about all the different ways it that, can that go went wrong. wrong. Yeah, so d- ignore what I just said, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't contact this thing. I would just appreciate Let it as this. Let them contact you if, yeah, look if, at that. if they want. Maybe they've moved on. Yeah. And you should be happy. Maybe they'll be there in your time of need. Hey, look at that. Who knows? That's kind of cool. Yeah. But shouldn't try and play, control these things. In the meantime, what more can you do except for stream the insane clown posse on <laughs> Spotify? Because our clown boys need our help constantly. Always. If not for the Juggalo army, where would they be? And vice versa. Where okay. would we be without them? Lost. hmm Yes. Yeah, lost. <laughs> I would love to have like a, an episode where I just get to talk about the Insane Clown Posse and Juggalo culture. Yeah. And uh, maybe people can send in their juggalo based questions for you. Everyone that everyone that's a juggalo online, unless they grew up with it, I feel like they're just making fun of me, though. Yeah. Everybody, when they see an like an ICP juggalo meme, which mm-hmm. is usually at the expense of juggalos, so I'm just like, that's especially not funny to me. Mm-hmm. Everybody will tag me in it because they're yeah. like, haha, it's the thing that Mitch likes. First of all, I've seen it. I guarantee I saw it four years <laughs> yeah. ago. First of all, I follow the, Inclaim, the Insane Clown Posse and both Joes separately from it on their personal accounts. Joe and Joey, follow them both. Yeah. So I've probably seen it 
Follow Twisted, Follow Twisted History, which mm-hmm. is a history in Instagram right. about the history of Twisted and the Insane Clown Posse. And then I follow Jamie Madrox's mm-hmm. personal uh, Twitter and then Paul's personal Twitter. So pretty much any ICP news is getting straight from the source. Now, Paul's personal Twitter is funny because it's it's pretty much exclusively about Funko Pops. <laughs> So you really see the multifaceted nature of these juggalo icons. You really do. do. Yeah. So please know I've seen that juggalo meme. Mm -hmm. And when when like close friends do it, I don't care. When randoms Mm -hmm. do it, they'll always just send some stuff that's like at the expense of juggalos. Like the punchline is, hey, look at this kind of like juggalo and he's he's acting stupid or look at this you know and i'm just like hey back off on the culture like the, this mm-hmm. is we we this is come on i'm 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 not here to laugh at juggalos i i am a juggalo i am one unironically right yeah uh so anything that is at the expense of juggalos that people find funny because they've always been poked at yeah the bar of a joke yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. i'm not gonna find funny yeah I'm not offended by it. I'm just like, why would you no. think I find this funny? If you get the urge to send him a, 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 what you think is a funny joke, just remember this easy mnemonic. Mitch has seen that juggalo meme. <laughs> I <laughs> That's good. Think of that. Mitch has seen that it. juggalo meme. Yeah. Teens. <laughs> so don't send it to memes. <laughs> uh I also think that most of these people still to this day think that I'm like being funny when I say all of this stuff. So that's oh, why ve- they no, it's think very sincere. That's why they think it's okay to send me this because they think I'm like joking around. He would not have spent this much money on ICP records and like first pressing cassettes if he was joking. He's and not joking. And action figures. And there's a few, fair few action figures around. Yeah. If you mm-hmm. watch the uh, By Your Side music video mm-hmm. in the quick scene where I'm like pulling up my pants, you'll see a hatchet man. Badge. Badge. Yeah. On my pants. Yep. I am this way. Yes. Forever. Yes. And I won't stop. It's ingrained into him. Uh Mm Uh-huh. Yeah. The same way that I'm I'm just uh, that bad kind of goth that likes him. Right. Yeah, Uh, yeah, yeah. That'll always be like that. You just grew up with it. Yeah. And I just think it's good. Yes. And I'll never stop thinking it's good and I'll Mm -hmm. never stop supporting it. Good. A good final PSA to end on. (laughs) Anyway. Thanks for listening to us. Pod our cast. Pod our cast. <laughs> this again. And we will talk to wait, oh oh god, we didn't do all this stuff. If you have an email uh that you want us to send us, if you got if you got oh god, that was god, you a mess. so half hearted. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That did that hardly no, made sense. God. <laughs> if you have a pickle yes. and you want us to answer it on the show, uh-huh. this it is an email reading podcast after all. Mm-hmm. You can send us those pickles to our very easy to remember email, and it is all the space in between at gmail.com. Easy to remember because it's just the name of the podcast at a popular email provider. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and if you would like to listen to all of our episodes, they are everywhere you can think of. The podcasts are hosted there on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Podcasts. They're also all on our very own personal little website. Let me which... stop you right there. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Is it on Spotify? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And what about Apple Podcasts? Oh, yeah, it's on that too. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, was just I'm, I, I said that, but you, yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I don't want to search it. <laughs> I just want to ask. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to check. Hold on. You, you do the work. You look. You tell me. Okay. And then I'll know. <laughs> Our website is all the space in between dot com. Thank you guys so much for listening to us, podcast, And uh, thank you for jacking in with us. And we will talk to you next week. New episodes every Monday. Bye. Bye. Bye.